Welcome to Cards Unboxed and happy Star Wars Day. Today we're going to be looking at the Gold Foil Star Wars deck by Theory 11. The Gold is the fifth variation of this deck. We've had a Red Foil, Blue Foil and then two Silver Foils, a Dark and a Light. The Tuck comprises of a matte black card with gold, black and white hot foil. The front sports the Millennium Falcon cockpit, an X-Wing and a TIE Fighter. You also have themed emblems and then lightsabers either side. The lightsabers are also on the back, as are all the emblems. You also have the half cockpit and the R2-D2 head. In the line work, you've also got lots of little TIE Fighters and lots of little X-Wings that cover around as well. One side of the deck says, May the Force be with you. And the other side says, The Power of the Dark Side. We also have a gold foil custom seal which says join the rebellion and defend the empire. And the base of the deck has a Theory 11 ad copy with the Disney logo. A closer look at the emblems on the side, this is the First Order emblem and this is the Sith Eternal emblem. On the opposite side, we have the Rebel Alliance and the Jedi Order. The flap has a foil Y-wing and Luke's famous stay on target quote. And then the side flaps have a TIE Fighter and an X-Wing. The foil deck inside is cellophane wrapped again. We've got two additional ag cards, one with stationary stars and one with stars in a warp. You can have a little colour change fun here or a shape shifter. Two jokers, custom. One's Dio and one's BB-8. We've got custom aces, each with the line work of a ship. The prominent black ace of spades has a gold X-wing being lifted out of the swamp by Yoda. The ace of clubs has the advanced TIE fighter. Diamonds has Boba Fett's slave one ship. And hearts, of course, has the Millennium Falcon. There's custom pips all round for all the face cards too. All the pips seem to be split down the middle with a light side and a dark side. We always get custom quotes with Theory 11, Boba Fett first, Queen Amidala, then Darth Vader himself, Lando Calrissian, Ray, Luke Skywalker, the Emperor, Mon Mothma, Kylo Ren, the Alec Guinness version of Obi Wan, Princess Leia, and finally Han Solo. Now I did notice that the foil seems to leave an imprint on the card in front of it. You can just about see it here. It seems to be where a card has been sat against the foil back. Speaking of the backs, very impressive. The full gold foil finish looks amazing, especially with that line work that you've seen on the back of the tuck case. The lightsabers, the emblems, the Millennium Falcon, the R2-D2, the TIE Fighters, the X-Wings, all there. It's quite hard to tell from the images, but that full gold foil has embossed the card so the white line work is ever so slightly raised and although the raised white lines have left marks on the face of the cards they still handle really well so are you a light side or are you a dark side what do you think of these gold foils leave a comment and let me know share the video help the algorithm hit the like button too and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification you can also find us at Instagram at cards underscore unboxed.